Hey YouTube, Outdoors Man here. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to remove and replace the spare tire on any Chrysler vehicle with stolen go seats. So your first step is going to be to open the tailgate on your van. Next you need to come to the rear driver's side of the van and you'll see this panel here. And on this panel you can see that there's two little locking buttons I guess you'd call them. So you just have to open those up. They turn 45 degrees to the left and pull this panel out. So inside of here you have your jack and you have your tools. Uh, as part of this video I'm not going to show you how to change the tire. I'm just going to show you how to get the spare tire out uh, as that seems to be where most of the confusion is when people have to do this job. So you want to remove this tire kit here. So in this tire kit there's three pieces. The first of these three pieces is this plastic piece here. The second two are metal rods, which you're probably familiar with, as they're the same that you would use to get a spare tire out of any other vehicle. So here's where things get a little bit unusual and a little bit more complicated for most people. So what most people are used to is having their spare tire mounted up underneath the vehicle at the rear, right about here. Now because Chrysler's created the stow-and-go seating, your stow-and-go seating which flips into the floor actually goes underneath the floor into this compartment here. So because of that, there's no space to fit a spare tire. So what they did is they moved the location of the spare tire into the front of your vehicle. So if you were to come around to the front of your vehicle, you can see that the spare tire is actually located right underneath the center console in the front of your vehicle. So now to get that spare tire out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the three pieces which you removed from where your jack was, the two metal rods and your plastic handle, and on this RT model, uh, you're going to open this compartment here. Now, depending on the other models that you have, you may not have this console, and this compartment will be in the floor. But either way, there's going to be access to it uh, through this location. So in the RT model, there is a drawer at the back here that comes out. You need to pull this drawer out in order to open the opening underneath there. So to get this little kind of plastic mat out, there's a little bit of a tab. I don't know if you can see it here bit of a tab and you just kind of pull that up and out of the way just set that off to the side so using my flashlight you can see that there's a little square bolt down there and that square bolt fits exactly into the end of your metal rod right here so you're going to take that metal rod and you're going to put it down and attach it on the end of that bolt like so then you're going to take your second metal rod find the little push in knob on there and you want to use the opposite side so the male to the female side and you want to attach the second rod on top of the first one once you've done that you take your plastic t-handle and you put it on top like this and you want to start turning it counterclockwise or to the left now as you start turning that what's happening is it's lowering that spare tire down from underneath the vehicle onto the ground you want to make sure that you lower this all the way down because once the tire is down you've actually got to pull the tire and the little cap that it sits in all the way out from underneath the vehicle and I'm going to show you how to do that momentarily. So now when we look underneath the vehicle you can see that, that spare tire and the carrier has dropped down to the ground. Now the nice thing that Chrysler has done in this design is they've tried to minimize the amount of tools that you need to do these jobs. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your two metal rods still attached and you're going to take the one male end and insert it into this plastic end here, like that. And what it kind of gives you is a long hook that you can use. So you want to use that hook to reach on into the tire, grab onto it, and just give it a pull out. Like that. So once you got the tire pulled out, you just pick it up like so. And there's a little locking mechanism here. So what you have to do is you have to kind of push the cable through, give yourself a little bit of room to, room to work, pinch these two kind of wings, I guess for lack of a better term, and push that assembly back through the tire like that. What that's going to do is that's going to allow you to separate your tire from the tire's carrier. Your spare tire changed out and your regular tire back on. Take your spare, 
put it back into the holder here. Now you'll notice the holder has a bit of a, a concave. So the tire actually only fits in it one way. So you need to have the outside of the tire facing down. That way when it goes in, it'll fit nice and flush. And you pick up your tire like this. And you're gonna grab onto this piece and you're gonna insert it back through the tire. So you're gonna hold it like that. Again, push these little wings back. And push through until both of those little wings on this side pop back out. The next step you can do a couple of ways. You can start by just jacking up on that cable, but for sake of wear on the cable, I like to push the tire back underneath the car. I just kind of center it as best you can under where it came from. Now you're just going to reverse the steps that you just completed. So you're going to remove this plastic end from the metal rod like that. Insert the metal rod back down onto that square bolt and use your T-handle here to start turning clockwise or to the right. As you turn, you're going to kind of hear that tire moving underneath and it's just going to be kind of hanging there until you get all the way up and when you feel like it tight, just stop turning. You don't need to kill it, just get it nice and snug and your tire will go back underneath. So there you go. It just kind of got snug, and that's as far as you need to go. Then you can remove this assembly again. Place your plastic or rubber, I guess, mat back in there. And the job's all done. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and remember to subscribe to my channel.